their new thing, and we'll talk about the next three here, and we're going to do a little bit of a watch along because I know that we're not familiar with any of these movies. They did three more, and they're already up for order right now, and I think they're shipping. We'll go in the order these things were released. School Spirit from 1985. It's a wild 80s comedy about a sex craze specter. Uh, School Spirit <laughs> frequently haunted late night cable channels and dusty video store shows. At long last, mm-hmm. it's ascended to a higher plane of existence on Blu ray. Is anybody the looking forward to that? I don't know. Maybe there's been a couple. I've never heard of that movie, though. I've never seen the cover of it before or anything. Lords of the Deep from 89, set in the not-too-distant future when 70% of the Earth is uninhabited and the rest has gone to hell. I think all these are something to do with Roger Corman, if I'm not mistaken. That makes sense, yeah. The last one from 1995, and this one, oh my God. We're going to watch the trailers here in just a second sawbones a former and this is a total if you look at the cover of this <laughs> sawbones. it looks like fucking dr giggles like if you didn't know any better you would think it was dr giggles but it's sawbones a former medical intern i saw the cover and i was like that's, that's exactly what i thought like uh. yeah turn sadistic killers on the loose and only one woman knows his true identity can she stop him before she becomes his next patient Oh, and I think Let all these are like, this. like, how shitty of a movie do you have to be to like rip off Dr. Giggles? We're about to find out. Boys. <laughs> so keep in mind, these are website exclusives, uh, 1500 copies a piece, $30 a piece. And, uh, we're going to do a watch along on the trailers and see what we think about it. Uncle Bill, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. If your, if your computer doesn't explode. So that's the new artwork for school spirit. Are you ready? It's hog day at Lavator college. Do you have a, And Billy Batson has a problem. He gets killed by death. That makes two of us pals. Oh! Billy Batson is a ghost. Look. And he is that you? When Billy Batson comes back to school as a ghost, he sees things he's never seen before. He's going to the girls' locker room, boys, to see some tits. Being dead, when I <laughs> when I first saw this, I was like. Is this like ghost rapist or something? Because that would be Steve's like number one film. Wouldn't it be killer if like they mixed this movie and Ghost Dad together? If Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah. Edited it, it together. From the biggest monster hog out of all time. How old are you anyway? Old enough stud. I don't want to see you near my daughter. Again. Just. That innocent little flower is my treasure. What in the fuck? Slip and slide. I have a wife. And this is from 1985. Uh, would you sit down, please? Uh, it looks like it, yeah. Would you close the doors? Uh, wait a minute, what? what? I'm almost positive this was probably never out on anything before. Civilization. Maybe VHS. So, is this just, this is not the, the Screen Factory trailer, right? No, this is the only trailer that's on uh, okay. YouTube. Because I was like, this looks like ass <laughs> if they put this out. School Spirit. God. $30 on uh, Scheme Factory's uh, website. And again, what in the hell is horror related about that at all? Other than the fact he's a fucking ghost, but it's like a comedy. Lords of the Deep. Yeah. On- below the ocean surface. In the deepest part of the Pacific. Man has arrived. We have no idea what to expect down there. They are scientists. Yeah, let's trust in the business of science, huh? 
They are invaders. So far, so good. Uh -huh. But there are some places man was never meant to go. What I think is funny is most of these that they're putting on sale, like limited to 1500 they haven't sold any out in a long time. Like there's a bunch that they still have. That Creep Show 3 is still on there. I'm willing to bet these ones are going to be on there for a while too. So clearly they've still they've still got the Roger Corman rights. I think they signed some sort of new deal with Corman. Special effects team that brought you aliens. Comes Lords of the Deep. No, it's the same special effects team of aliens, really? It's an underwater adventure. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be Kala. Look at this shit. Here we go. Dr. Giggles, too. Sawbones. Oh, I think we can save the baby. Sawbones! Oh. Well, that way, that's soup bones. Got a bleeder. A Let me tell you something, bones. baby. So it's like we got some asshole out there thinks he's a doctor. He knows the basic steps, but uh, that's about it. The victim's away. I can't believe that kind of little. A frustrated detective. Never gets his I wonder if that was the original twice. cover. A courageous woman. Probably what was. When you found the body? Are on his trail. What year was Dr. Oh, Giggles? God, 91 or 92? Okay, that makes sense because this was 95. But in order to track him down, what are you doing about it? Harassing a bunch of would be doctors? What you doing with the orcs? What you doing, pal? To his deranged mind. I guess they're ready to go in. <laughs> Movie. It doesn't even look like it's endearing like Dr. Eagles. It just looks like a and become part of psycho doctor. I'm the assisting physician. It would be an honor. Yeah, this looks like something that would be like on late night next victim. On like TNT or something. Yeah. A TV movie. Like a lifetime movie almost. That music's so fucking terrible. Funny how everybody always <laughs> wants to be a doctor. Nothing about it is really any good looking. Sawbones. He's Thirty dollars a piece. Ass. Thirty dollars a piece. And here's the thing about them doing that too, is like it's not just thirty dollars. It always ends up being over forty dollars. Like every single fucking time. I well, they got a deal now. Here. If if you it's spend more than uh, fifty dollars, you get free shipping at least. So at least there's that. Well, yeah, that'd be easy to do. You buy one thing, you're pretty close. Good deal. Thirty dollars. Think is, about that though. Thirty dollars for a bare bones ass fucking like Blu-ray. Yeah, there's nothing on any of these. Not with nothing. Yeah, I think this move is from the new owners, the new people in charge. Because they think that if they do 1,500 copies, yeah. they have enough dumb motherfuckers that buy all of their shit that would buy all these. Like, that's what they're thinking. Just, call, just because it's limited and they collect the Scream Factory name, they have to have it. And that's what they're banking on. Yeah. I mean, they're just basically doing Vinegar Syndrome shit now. That's what they're doing. They're, and I suspect they'll just continue to kind of follow that protocol like most other companies are now. They're starting to do it quite a bit. Of the three, you got Sawbones, Lords of the Deep, and School Spirit. If you had to buy one of them, you didn't have a choice. Which one of the three yeah. looks the best? None of neither, none. I wouldn't buy any of them. If gun to my head, I'd be like, shoot me, motherfucker, because these are god awful. Hmm. I, would probably, I mean, seriously, there's not one of them that like looks any better to me than any any of the other ones. Yeah, they all do look pretty bad. But uh, those are up for order right now. Uh, if you're out there and you want to get some school spirit in HD and you've always longed for a copy of that on Blu-ray or Sawbones or Lords of the Deep, you know. And you I was just know too. Okay, so Lords of the Deep is going to be a lame-ass, like, you know, under, like a sea adventure movie that's going to have horrible effects. Uh, 
school spirit is going to be a lame ass comedy. That's not really to have anything to do with horror. And then Sawbones is going to have no gore, a lot of cutaway shots, and just be a bunch of like bullshit. Much bullshit. So yeah. sure, Garrett will buy every damn one of them. He'll buy all three of them. I guarantee it. Poor old Garrett. He probably Hell will. Yeah. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at Shop dot deadpit dot com simply the best horror shirts on t public there are others but they all suck you can get some dead pit radio shirts you can get last south on the left the hills have eyes texas chainsaw oh wait you can't say texas chainsaw all kinds of shirts folks you're gonna love them shop dot dead pit Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.